is because you claim you can see. Now, that's talking about spiritual blindness. There they were right in front of the Son of God. But they wanted their religion. They didn't want the Son of God. They wanted their religion in their own ways. So here's an opening to some spiritual blindness that God has just put right in front of us. And here we go. Okay, here's the abomination of desolation right here. The time will come when you will see what Daniel the prophet spoke about. The abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place. And he also says standing where it should not be. Now Dan's going to go over to here. I want you to look right here. I'm going to show it to you right here on this page. Then we're going to go to the wall where these things are enlarged. Here's that same alien. There's his eye and his eye and his nose and his frowny mouth the bottom of his chin, the top of his head, and his neck going down right there. Okay, I'm going to keep the camera going, Dan. I'm just going to step in front of it for a second. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you, I want you to see that this is National Geographic. This is April 2001 issue of National Geographic. The Lord put it in front of me so I could solve this or he could use me to solve this now I'm going to open it up so you can see it okay there it is now I want you to look on this right here right there there's the eye the eye the top of the head here's his frowny mouth and there's his neck going down it's amazing what this thing turns into it what you're looking at in this hieroglyph is right in the Bible. So the Bible is right on the money. Um, we're going to take this now, now that you've seen this, and we're going to take this magazine down, and we're going to go to the wall where I've put this thing in negative imagery, and, um, and I've colored some stuff in so you can see it more clearly. Okay? I'm going to take it down there. Okay. Now let's... Oh. Where's my card? Alienated. Okay, I gotta go to my car and grab my Bible real quick. That's what I do. Cut it. Cut it, yeah. And now. Okay, we're back. And um, the, the image that's on your screen right now is the image of the head and probably the neck of this alien. Um, there's his eye and there's his eye. There's the nose and there's his frowny mouth. You are looking at the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place. Earlier in this video, you know, the Lord let me prophesy and he said, he said, behold the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet standing in the holy place where it should not be. Here is the mystery made known to you. You are the holy place of which I speak. And the abomination of desolation shall rise from within the walls of the temple to destroy the temple. And then, remember the pictures of the sheep that are half devil, half sheep, or the sheep that's got the devil superimposed on it? That is what he's talking about. This creature, the beast, the devil, the abomination, is rising from within the walls of the temple, which is us, to destroy the temple. Now here's where we, get, where we get into the whole thing. It goes back to the beginning. And in Genesis, it says, When the sons of God, Genesis 6.4, says, When the sons of God saw the beautiful women of the human race, they took any they wanted as their wives. For when the sons of God had intercourse with human women, they gave birth to mighty men. Some Bibles say heroes mentioned in legends of old. Okay, the words that the Lord poured into me, he said, and has not the sea turned mighty? He's talking about the sea of humanity. So, I'm going to show you guys, we're going to, a couple of scriptures about this stuff that you're looking at. And we're just going to deal with a couple of things. And here's what it says in the book of Galatians. It says, formerly, when you did not know God, you were slaves to those who by nature are not gods. 
They're not gods. They're fallen angels. The demonic beings that have fornicated with human women. And I'm going to show that to you here in a minute. And they created an, another race of beings. And that is us. And that's why the battle is internal. That's why Jesus said, unless you are converted, you will perish. Unless you repent, you will perish. He said, unless you're born again, you will perish. So you have to be born of the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God is what deals with that evil nature inside of all of us and puts it to death. And so that's why Christ came. He came to deal with our evil natures. He came to deal with all of our sins and to carry every one of your sins on a cross. That is God's love. If you want to see what love looks like, look up at the cross of Christ. There is no greater love. He laid down his life for every single one of us because we can't beat that. There's no way. Especially when it's internal. Your enemy is inside of you. Remember the words, and the abomination of desolation shall rise from within the walls of the temple to destroy the temple. For have you not seen and have you not heard? Has it not been made known to you? Have you not read the scriptures? Genesis 6.4 For when the sons of God came unto the daughters of men, they did bear children to them, and the same became mighty men. Has not the seed turned mighty? He's talking about humanity, man. Golly, look at the world around us, what's happened. So now, time is counting down. You're looking at a fulfillment of biblical prophecy. This is it. This is Matthew 24. This is Mark 13. This is Luke 21. It's happening. Look at the world right now. I was talking to Dan. I don't watch much news, but apparently <laughs> things are going down the tubes on the world economy. And it looks like, uh, you know, maybe things might be turned over to one guy. And that's probably the Antichrist, don't you think? Anyway, I'm going to get back to a couple more scriptures. And here's another one. This is from the book of Colossians 1.21 through 123, and it says, and you who were once alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet he, meaning God, has now reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight. And you who were once alienated and enemies in your mind. Because a defiled conscience is what separates you from God. It's what keeps you from that relationship and that intimacy from knowing God. Because you got such dirty junk in your head. And believe me, when it comes to the king of dirty junk, I was the king of dirty junk in my head. And God saw fit to save me. And this is what he wanted me to do, um, is my ministry. He wanted me to pass this on to everybody. And I'll just tell you now, it's been tough. It's, it's been really, really tough. But it's been worth it every, every moment. Anyway, we're going to take a little break. I'm going to set up the next part because we've got to see how they got here. Um, we're going to go over to this hieroglyph a little bit more. We're going to look at a couple more images. Because in this hieroglyph, you'll see all kinds of stuff. I'll, I'll show you a soul that's trapped in L right down here. And I've colored him in. Colored him in. But I'm going to show you someone that's trapped in hell. I'm going to show you a woman over here that's, that's being inseminated by this alien right here. I'm going to show you the, the all-seeing eye of Horus, which you saw earlier. Here's one eye, and the other eye is the eye of the child that the alien is holding in his hand. But I'm going to get some close-up views over here on the book so you guys can see what's happening. And it's going to take a few more minutes. There's so much information that, that the Lord's given me. I, I'm trying to give it all to you without, a, without a leaving too much out be, because there's a lot of it. So let's just go back to the hieroglyphic in just a minute. Just give me a minute and we're going to break. Okay. Hey, you want a Gatorade? Sure. Okay. Now. Okay. Dana is rolling, but I'm going to, I'm going to put some up here real 